Happy days, people! Welcome back. Uh, I finally got reflections to work the way I wanted to, so it actually reflects like the way you expect it to uh, to do. So, one wrong in the previous video, as I found out, uh, a couple of things happened. Uh, first of all, so as I described before, um, to make these reflections, what I do, I take pictures of like of like six locations. Uh, relative to the to the sphere, so up, down, like this direction, that direction, that direction, that direction. Uh, I map these textures onto a cube map, and I use a geo copy texture function to do so. Uh, what I was forgetting though, or what well, basically what I was unaware of, is like when you call this function, uh, it changes the coordinates. So with screen coordinates, your zero zero point is like in the bottom left corner, whereas for texture coordinates, it's in the top left corner. Um, so it kind of means your entire graphics are reversed, which wasn't really very helpful. Uh, and second of all, when you do take a picture, uh, say in this direction, and you want to map it onto um, onto a face. So when you map like on this side of the face, you also need to like twist it. Or basically flip the, f the image uh, horizontally. So what we had to do eventually is like flip the f flip the picture or texture like horizontally and vertically to get the result we see at the moment. So the way I've done it is when I take the picture, I take the picture upside down. So I twist the camera 180 degrees along the um, Z axis. So I basically roll it 180 degrees. So then when I apply the texture to the sphere, you actually do get results you see now, which was quite helpful. So I was kind of going like insane, Luke informs what the hell is going on, but finally found this solution and it works quite nicely, as you can uh, as you can see. So yeah, took me a while, but finally got there. So there you go, so a nice reflection going. So on to the next uh, topic, which most likely will be uh, shadowing, but we'll see what can happen. So this most likely will also form the basis of doing reflection off the water later on. So when you, I don't know, you stand like next to the uh, on the beach, so to speak, and you look under the water, you actually see the reflection on all the uh, hills around you. Uh, but first of all, I think shadow is going to be next uh, big subject on the tackle. So yeah, quite tough getting reflection working properly now. So this is uh, one big uh, problem off my mind. Uh, thanks for watching guys, and I'll uh, come back at you once I get like, some updates, most likely uh, shadowing I'm going to be working on next. I'll uh, catch you guys later, thanks for watching.